At the round 223,000, COVID-19 cases in Metro Manila account for the biggest chunk of infections in the country. But the UP Okta research team is seeing a positive development on the trend of cases in the capital lately. In its recent analysis, the virus reproduction rate in the region has been stable at around 1. The reproduction rate, or r naught refers to how many is getting infected by a COVID-19 patient. According to experts, the r naught in the NCR is at 0 0.98, which is below the threshold of 1. The rate is driven by a stable number of new infections recorded, which is at around 400. It's good news in a way because we're trying to balance economy and um, opening up, gradually opening up. So we're trying to find that balance. If the rate remains stable, the country's caseload might reach up to 575,000 by end February. But David said the situation is still manageable as our critical care utilization rate remains below 70%. The hospital utilization rate, meanwhile, in various LGUs is at 30 to 40% despite increase of cases in some provinces. What that means is uh, we have enough bed capacity to handle uh, the, uh, the future cases. So it's not going to air overwhelm our hospitals and our frontliners. Okta said we could further decrease the reproduction rate, but it will take a toll on the economy. It's really difficult to reduce it to zero. I mean, we could if we want to, but that would be at great economic cost to reduce it to, let's say, zero cases. And right now our economy is suffering, so we understand that, you know, we balance it. And as long as we're not overwhelming the hospitals, uh, we should be okay. That being said, um, people should still be vigilant and mindful about your mga protocols. As the country awaits the vaccines, the Food and Drug Administration is reminding the public to be compliant with protocols. Kasi pagdating po ng araw ng bakuna, kapag kayo may sakit o na at least 117,000 shots from Pfizer and 5 to 9 million from AstraZeneca are expected to arrive in the country starting this month. Russia's Gamaleya is also just waiting for the result of their emergency use application to start the delivery procedure. A representative believes that a 91.6% efficacy of Sputnik V is enough for the people to trust the shot. Definitely. It's enough because uh, the, pe the people who are reviewing the interim reports in the Lancet, as you would see, are um, very uh, respectable owned individuals in their respective fields. Our FDA said they will decide on Gamalea's EUA application within the month. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, we are One News.